Hi, I'm Shorty, and I'm doing today's video for all of you Virgos out there. That is Sun Sign Virgo. If you want to check out your Moon Sign, I've done separate Moon Sign videos as well as uh, your Venus signs. So make sure you calculate those and check them out. So I have the complete book of the Zodiac, and I'm going to share the information about Virgos now. I hope you find this information helpful. So Virgos are anyone born between uh, August 24th, 23rd, 24th, depending on what time you were born, and September 23rd. Every Virgo has a mission to inform and educate. They rarely lecture others or insist on loudly putting their point across, preferring to listen, understand, and then teach by gentle example. The Virgo spirit is essentially a healing spirit. Virgos want nothing more or less than true physical and emotional well-being for all their fellow human beings. Virgos have tremendous timing and impeccable insight. Fortunately for the rest of us, they also have searing self-doubts. These inhibit them from abusing their talents and making them very reasonable people. Neither passive nor aggressive, Virgos simply are simply sensible and sensual. They want to enjoy life to the fullest, but they know that there are dangers attached to such hungers. They form elaborate contingency plans and see the potential repercussions of every move. This may sound stupid, but in Virgo in hands, common sense is not a restrictive force. Unlike those who shoot first and ask questions later, Virgos ask first and only fire if they know they've aimed the right weapon at the right target. Virgos don't see their own lives from such a confident viewpoint. They couldn't be so well organized if they did. On the inside, Virgos feel intimidated by their own ambitions, but at the same time frustrated by their resi resistance. It's a dichotomy which can't ever and should never be resolved. It's also the reason why Virgos are attracted to other Virgos. Knowingly or unknowingly, they seek each other out. Virgos are sociable, amiable, and helpful people who, no matter no matter whom they are with. They are forgiving, patient, and thoughtful. When they give presents, they choose them carefully, and when you give them, you should do the same. Home. Despite all that you may have read elsewhere, Virgos are not obsessively tidy. They just like to arrange things in an organized fashion, which is not the same thing. Virgos are supposed to be tidy. Up to a point, it's true, but it doesn't follow that your home is a show house. Your personality is far too warm for the stark cold lines of an immaculate room, and you better have things to do with your time. You have better things to do with your time than be forever putting things in drawers. Instead, you vote for organized chaos. Despite your billions of possessions, you hate to throw anything away. You have a place for absolutely everything. The pile, stacks, and bundles, however, make sense only to you. It all adds up to your air, genial eccentricity, as indeed does your quirky, inventive, but effective approach to interior design. Your ideal house number is 60 to 65 to suit your retiring disposition. Clothes. Virgos never wear any clothes by accident. Even scruffy Virgos will have carefully chosen each item they wear for maximum effort. Anyone who thinks a Virgo is the sign of purity and that you therefore ought to dress only in white clearly knows little about astrology and even less about the price of washing powder. You, yours is a fecund sign of the harvest goddess, not the prudish sign of an eternal spinster. If you want to show off your best qualities, choose earth tones, dark greens, 
russet browns, and clay reds. Pick smartly cut, cleverly designed clothes, which give an air of authority, keep accessories simple, and watch your shoes. For some reason, you're prone to looking good from head to your ankles. After all, it all tends to go to pop. Cars. V's for Virgo and Volvo. You may not actually drive one, but something about unassuming, safety-cautious image of this particular make suits you perfectly, right down to its traditional link with country life. Another reason why you need a tank of a car is because your critical faculties go into overdrive when you get out onto the road. Maybe that's the intoxicating aroma of the air freshener mixed with carbon monoxide or nerve tangling noise of the grinding gear shift, oddly, for such a unusually reserved person, you can't drive far without muttering things like, what an idiot, who let him out a keeper? Without a keeper, get out of the way, you bleep. In a less adequately soundproof vehicle, there is horrid chance that other drivers might hear you. Food. The Virgos are very fussy about food. What they want to eat depends on the mood they're in. Often, they'll go to great lengths to get what they want. Would you find... Would you like a starter of fennel, walnut, parsley salad, followed by carrot, celery, and bean stew flavored with dill and caraway? You could eat it with hazelnut pate on oat cakes and follow up with a perfect tart. Mouth watering? It ought to be, for every single one of those ingredients is traditionally governed by Mercury, the ruler of your sign. Even the absence of meat on the list is apt, because though not every Virgo turns out to be vegetarian, yours is a sign of dietary discrimination. You take great pleasure in keeping yourself intelligently nourished. Excuse me. Money. Nothing will ever be attempted if all possible objections must first be overcome. As the esteemed Dr. Samuel Johnson, the author of these words, was born under your sign, I am sure you'll understand what lay behind that remark. Virgos have a magnificent ability to overcome their fears and problems by subjecting them to close analysis. They dissect and probe them so carefully and cleverly as to render them totally impotent. Sadly, they sometimes put their opportunities through the same process, with less encouraging results. You could be a far wealthier person, if only you could train yourself to apply just a little less cautious forethought from time to time. You may well want to dwell on the idea at your leisure. You have long suspected that your skills are being undervalued and your talents are underemployed. You may decide the way to gain a greater wealth is to gain specialized knowledge with a vital subject, to study, research, or teach. Or you may discover you don't need to learn so much as to teach, to delegate some of the mundane tasks on your plate while you profit from your more specific expertise. One thing's for sure, if you want to make the most of your prospects, you definitely need to overcome your natural uh, resistance and false assumptions that others are better qualified than you to be successful in commerce. As Dr. Johnson once observed, trade could not be managed by those who managed it if it had much difficulty. Just a job? Accountant, administer, administrator, animal trainer, bookkeeper, butler, Charity worker, chemist, chicken breeder, civil servant, clothier, dentist, dietitian, doctor, editor, grocer, governess, librarian, microbiologist, neuropath, nurse, osteopath, photographer, piano tuner, sanitation inspector, teacher, vet. Five ways to cash in. Team up with someone who is far less logical than yourself. Next time someone asks if you happen to notice where they put something, charge them for the answer. Only agree to play Scrabble for cash. Become a rent collector and accept bribes to make you go away. Sell some of those juicy secrets that you're keeping. 
Five Ways to Branch Out. Take a job in editing the Encyclopedia Britannica. That will certainly challenge your talent. Offer your services to proofread telephone directories. Take a course in computers and set yourself up as a programmer. Open up a lost property office. Visit Italy after deciding that you'll be the one to straighten out the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Love. Virgos are impervious to flattery. Try to pull the wool over their eyes and they may string you along for amusement, but they'll never fall for it. Vir uh, a Virgo is an introverted sign. Even introverted Virgos, even extroverted Virgos, tend to hide behind a facade, a social role, or a stage presence of one sort or another. Virgos, so we are led to believe, are about as romantic as a cold bath, as, sen as sensitive as a lump of concrete, and as vulnerable as a crocodile. If only it were true, you could leave passion to one of those who possess the stomach for this punishing after effect and withdraw to the safety of your ivory tower to be alone and untouchable forever. The idea, I'm sure, is appealing, but you and I both know that in truth you yearn to be held to be touched, to be tenderly kissed, and lovingly adored. It may all sound gruesomely sen sentimental, but though the cynic in your mind groans at the very notion, the poet in your soul simply shudders with desire. All this, naturally enough, makes you a bit of a tough person to partner. How is your beloved supposed to know you want to be shown respect for your intellect and when you want to be swept off your feet? How can your mate know whether to whisper sweet nothings in your ear or put complicated diagrams in front of your eyes? How indeed? And how are you supposed to know whether you want to spend the rest of your life with a lover who looks good but lacks brain power or with a sophisticated genius who happens to have the dress sense of a horse? The answer in a nutshell is that what you want, need, deserve, and are capable of getting, if you haven't gotten it already, an intuitive expert, a genuine soulmate, an emotional partner who can read you like a book. The only remaining question is, how are you going to find this emotional miracle? The answer to that one is that you're going to create it. You're going to stop fantasizing about the perfect stranger you vaguely imagine you one day meet and start working with the material that's already at hand. Almost certainly it's your existing partner unless he or she has absolutely, definitely proven to be beyond all hope. If so, or if you have no partner, possibly it's a friend or acquaintance with whom you've always felt a certain rapport. With this individual, you're going to explore new horizons of interpersonal understanding. You're going to take courses in communication if necessary, but you're going to build and keep building until you have a bond of understanding that lasts not just until death do you part, but beyond. For every Virgo is not just a dream, but a perfectly attainable proposition. All you have to do, besides recognize that you want it, is work to get it. A sideways look at your sign. Virgos are difficult to write about and even harder to predict for because they're so erratic. If you find this surprising, I'm not surprised. Most Virgos present are most Virgos present a very stable, sensible face to the world. They like others to think that they're completely controlled and consistent. To a degree, it's true. Virgos are undoubtedly loyal, dependable, exceptionally intelligent, good humored, generous, and compassionate. But if you probe a little deeper, you'll quickly come across the factor that makes every Virgo so impossible, impenetrable, and infuriating. What is this characteristic? Oh, how I wish there were a word in the English language that could sum it up. What I read, when I read about how Virgos are rather dull, neat, and tidy folk who detest controversy and make perfect librarians, I laugh. That kind of description may fit some of the Virgo behavior patterns, but it says nothing about the true Virgo spirit. The true spirit makes Madonna look positively prim. It's wild, chaotic, sensual spirit hidden behind a cool, calm, careful facade. This, though, is still only half the story about the dark side of Virgo. 
Here's the other half. Every Virgo is somehow, in some way, a martyr. Martyrs are people who put up all sorts of pain, put up with all sorts of pain, deprive themselves of all sorts of pleasure, and deny themselves of all, all sorts of freedom, just for the satisfaction of feeling they're doing the right thing. So, how do Virgos reconcile this Florence Nightingale syndrome with the self-indulgent qualities I've just mentioned? They don't. They can't. And that's why they're so impenetrable. If Virgos were extroverted, it might not matter so much. They could display one side in public, the other in private, but most Virgos find little pleasure in showing up. Even those who are prepared to stand in the spotlight never let it shine on their true character. As introverts, Virgos are analytical, perceptive, and thoughtful. They're highly aware of inconsistencies in their own nature, and to make matters worth worse, they're normally highly self-critical about them. So, they keep their mouths shut and suffer in silence, and what they mainly suffer from is an endless inner battle between the desire to serve others and the desire to serve their passions. I want to make a confession. I really like Virgos. Most people I love, most have been, most of the people I love have been born under this sign. I have nothing but admiration and respect for them. The things I like best about all my Virgo friends are usually the things they like least about themselves. I like their eccentricities and idiosyncrasies. I like their passions. But the things I dislike about Virgos are the things they normally think are their finest social assets. I dislike the way they let other people take credit and the way they humbly accept unjust blame or criticism. However, Virgos have X-ray vision. There is no presence in the Virgo. There is no pretense a Virgo cannot see through, no social grace a Virgo cannot be impressed by. Within seconds of meeting you, a Virgo will have decided exactly what makes you tick. That judgment will be absolutely accurate and potentially devastating. Virgos know that they have the potential to reduce other people's quiver, other people to a quivering mass of embarrassment just by expressing a few of their observations, and that makes them feel burdened. If a Virgo has ever seen through you, you'll know that it hurts. The truth does. The irony of all of this is that, Vir that Virgos, if they weren't so cripplingly self-critical, would be the most powerful people on earth. Their infallible perceptions could make them an unstoppable force. The only reason why Virgos don't rule the world is that they're so harsh on themselves. Okay, so all of you Virgos, I hope that you found the information that I have shared helpful. And I hope that you are looking forward to watching your Virgo birthday reading in the It's Your Birthday playlist. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video, and I love you.